Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with some more Dracalia Lost. Today's video, we're going to be talking about everything coming up in the version update. Uh, there's a lot of things I know that's coming, but there's a lot to read here, and there's a lot to go over. Uh, stuff, changes to potentially combos, changes to characters, potentially changes to the jumpstart endeavors, stuff like that, so let's get right into it, start reading. As always, if you like this video, remember to leave a like, uh, subscribe to me if you want more Dragalia stuff and videos in general, and comment about how you're feeling about this version update. Okay, let's get into it. And of course, that's when everything craps out. Come on. You got this. Hmm. Okay. Wait for it. There we go. Alright, let's get into it. As always, to celebrate, they will be giving us a tenfold uh, summon voucher. Very good. This is version update 1.20.0. Update details. Shared skills are here. You will be able to equip the third and fourth skill, which can only be used uh, by the team's leader. Any adventurer in the team can equip shared skills, but only the leader can use them. You can equip up to two skills that meet the condition from other adventurers as the first and second shared skill. Shared skills cannot can be equipped. Excuse me. Shared skills can, that can be equipped. But be, by meeting all the conditions for equipping shared skills, you can equip skills from the allied adventurers as shared skills. Note, some skills cannot be equipped as shared skills, and skills for adventurers who join during the main campaign can be equipped and shared right away. So everyone gets access to all, to Ranzel, Ellie, Yuidin, all those people. Uh, Luca, Robot Girl, Alex, anyone else? No, I'm not, I think that's everyone. Yes. Um, the conditions for equipping shared skills are as follows. The adventurer whose skills you wish to unlock as shared skills must be at least level 80 and have at least 50 mana nodes unlocked. Two, you must use a specific item on an, el on an eligible skill to unlock it as a shared skill. Then here we see the item right there in question. There are some differences between the first and second shared skills in terms of the skills that can be equipped. First, shared skill. If you have a weapon with a weapon skill equipped, you can equip either the weapon skill or a shared skill from an adventurer who has unlocked shared skills. Second scared, uh, scared. Second shared skill, if you have a helper selected during solo play, the helper skill will be equipped. Note, if a weapon skill or helper skill is equipped for the first or second shared skill, you will not be able to use shared skills from other adventurers. You cannot equip the skill of the same name from the same adventurer you are using. Example, Ranzel cannot equip skills from Ranzel, but he can equip skills from Gala Ranzel. The level of shared skills will match the equivalent skill level of, for the adventurer who equips it. Huh, so that means, well, it means more, it's really more that, um, I think units that don't have 50 mana spir uh, mana, s mana spiral, mana circle can just kind of already use yeah, so <laughs> if you have ma 40 mana circle, then... Oh, that... Hmm, that's actually... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's actually worse. I was thinking if it was the opposite, meaning that if you gave um, uh, someone from a low one... Actually, no, it works both ways. Kind of depends... No, because you have to have full 50... Okay. Okay. I finally understood. <laughs> Before anyone corrects me, I think I got it. Skill point uh, cost for shared skills... Shared skills have a skill point cost. Skills equipped as the first and second shared skill must fit within the adventurer's cost limit. The skill point cost and cost limit vary between skills and adventurers. Hmm. Then you can see here it says three. Interesting. Regarding items for unlocking shared skills, elemental tomes, flame tomes, water tomes, wind tomes, light tomes, and shadow tomes are required to unlock shared skills. Each one can unlock skills of the corresponding element. Elemental tomes can be obtained from events and in the shop. New event type, onslaught events. A new event type, the onslaught... Okay, so that's... Okay, let's talk about shared skills a little bit. Obviously, we'll know more once we actually have access to what this all can do. Um, here's my thing going into it, which is the one build I really want to do is... I Obviously, this will be a, a big buff to almost everyone. Um... But I'm really curious to see if this game will stop <laughs> doing that. 
I'm really curious to see how what is determined to be able to be shared. For example, Mega Man, his skills require you to um, have a meter being built to, in order to use them. So um, I'm kind of curious to see if that means that uh, none of Mega Man's skills you can actually get. But then if you can get Mega Man skills, that would mean the units that have a specific meter that require like a whole bunch of buildup. Um, like for example, Gala Alex. Actually, you know what? Could Gala Alex use Krom's um, skills? Now that I think about it. There's a lot of things I want to test and see because the idea, the very funny idea of Alex being able to use Krom's extremely busted. So you'd basically have to get skill one and skill two. Uh, I'm assuming that all effects would apply. So for example, um, the main one that I want to try is to use uh, Lin Yu's skill one with Hunter Charisse. And skill one for Lin Yu says that you create a cyclone when you successfully land a four strike. Um, that means it's an effect of the skill one, meaning skill one does its entire thing and then it adds an additional bonus to your four strike. Uh, my thing is, is that if that is a thing that you get from the skill and not something inherently built into the character itself, does that mean anyone can now get a Cyclone if they choose to get Lin Yu's skill one? Um, these are things I kind of want to test out and see, and maybe this limit thing is what's going to teach me like, oh, it turns out like Lin Yu's thing has a high ability towards it because you can create Cyclones. Anyone can create Cyclones with their four strike now or um, something like that. Very interested to see where, where it goes from, but I have a whole bunch of ideas of what I would want to see. I have a whole... I hope <laughs> maybe I can finally give Mega Man some good skills. Uh, that'd be something. Uh, it still kind of wouldn't fix them, but it'd be something. I want to try it. New event type, Onslaught events. A new event type, the Onslaught event, will start mid-June. Onslaught events will center around solo quests. Check out the future event notification. Sure. The Royal Regiment is here. Starting on the 25th, the Royal Regiment will be added to help players who just started playing Dragalia Lost learn how to play the game. The Royal Regiment has three stages, and clearing all of the endeavors in each stage will allow the player to move to the next stage. By clearing endeavors, you will be able to receive rewards. With the addition of the Royal Regiment, you will also end jumpstart endeavors and certain normal endeavors. Note. Players who clear the prologue by the 25th are eligible for Jumpstart Endeavors. Players who have already started the game will also be able to receive rewards from Royal Regiment, thank you. The following endeavors can be completed meeting the conditions after 11pm 24th. View the Worm Prince section of the Treasure Trade. The following endeavors can be completed either by clearing Chapter 5 of the main campaign or by meeting the conditions for the endeavor in version 1.20. Use optimized feature to form a flame, water, wind, light, and shadow attuned team. The following endeavors can be completed either by placing the app the, the applicable facilities in the castle grounds by 1059 p.m. May 24, 2020, by meeting the conditions for endeavors after. Place a flame altar in the castle grounds. Place a dragon tree, wind altar, water altar, shadow, light, wind, sword, dojo. No, Wind, Dragon, Cliff. Oh, I should mention Shadow, Altar, Light, Altar, Wind, Dragon, Cliff. I don't know how to pronounce that. Sword, Dojo. Advance the main campaign in place of a Water, Dracolith. Advance the main campaign in place of a Light, Dracolith. Adjustments to certain action elements. Okay, so this is just cool. I'll be able to get these rewards. That works out for me. Uh, that's all I care about, honestly. Very interested to see if this will help. This is like they're really struggling trying to get people to newer people to understand and how to play the game. So I wonder if that's something they hope to use. Like I wonder if this is going to make you do a high dragon trial or something. Be interested to see. Adjustment to certain elements. We will adjust the following action elements to help players better play quest. We will reduce damage taken by AI adventurers. Note when using the autoplay feature this will apply to allied AI adventurers other than the controlled adventurer. This is crazy good because it all of a sudden makes a lot of you. So here's the one thing that I always find annoying about um, um, AI controlled people is for example, Gala Ellie is terrible under AI because she has a move that stops her from getting forced back. But that also means that she's constantly in the face of the enemy all the time. 
Uh, maybe one of the most frustrating things, especially if you play some of the more, um, like a raid boss, for example, is that if you lose, you could easily lose your entire bonus by the AI just being dumb. And either they can make the AI smarter or they can do what they're doing here, which is reduce the damage taken by AIs, which works for me. Um, works perfectly for me. So that I feel that also makes Grace 10 times better because a lot of Grace teams just got much more tankier. Um, but let's see. We will adjust the combo for certain weapon types. The adjustments will be described below. Sword, we will adjust the attack so that the adventurer does not jump with the 4th and 5th attack. Blade, we will adjust the power of the 5th attack. Dagger, we will adjust the attack so the adventurer does not jump up and move backwards as the 5th attack. We will also adjust the player. Uh, we will also adjust the power of the fifth attack. Axe. We will adjust the attack. The attack so that the, the adventurer does not jump up with the fifth attack. We will adjust the speed of the fur fired shots, and that's for Wanda and Staff. Uh, so that that was sword, blade, dagger, axe, wind, wand, and staff. Uh, hmm. Very interested to see the changes in here. So does that mean like sword just can't jump anymore? I was never a fan of sword jumping, by the way. The only thing I ever thought sword jumping meant was that I was doing the wrong combo. Um, Cause the sword combo has, I believe, one hit, two hit, four strike, or one hit, two hit, three hit, four strike. But the only way you knew if you were doing wrong is that your character jumped into the air. So I don't know if they want to want to see. I'm very interested to see if this is going to change how certain combos are kind of understood. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically, and this is something that was new for me as well, is that certain units had, for example, Sword's best combos, you actually didn't want to do the full length of the combo. You wanted to stop and force strike because that meant you got more uh, skill gain um, uh, by doing it that way. So that's that was the optimal way to kind of play Sword. And I'm wondering if if that will change after this update. But we'll see. Um, jumping was never a big thing to me. So, I mean, some characters will still have jumping in their skills, so it should be fine, but. The only thing I ever saw jump being worth for was for really cool tricks. But, yeah. Uh, adventurers will no longer take damage from the start of the dodge action to the end of the dodge action, meaning dodge now dodges. Adventurers will take damage from some enemy attacks, with displayed action markers. So that means that um, uh, purple will still hurt you, but hopefully that means that your dodge will actually work, function as a dodge now, as opposed to being this weird thing you roll around in. It will be possible to configure settings and the options under menu so that adventurers automatically brace themselves. Hmm? Also, adventurers will no longer take damage from when they brace themselves until they are able to move again. Huh. Okay. Uh, I guess that's for opening blast type stuff. We plan to make more adjustments to the game's action elements in the future. Other changes. The following adjustments will be applied to the data upload we, we perform around 11 p.m. 24th. We will adjust the description text for the Adventure Tiki's Dragon Scion 1 and 2 abilities. Don't know if that means they're going to buffer or maybe there was just something inaccurate in their description. The following changes will be applied to the data update to be formed around 11 p.m. 25th. We will change the name from buff time plus X ability to buff skill time plus X percent. And we'll also adjust the description text. Note, this change can only affect the text. The effects, okay. So I'm going to assume that's all the same for Tiki. So it's only a thing of text, not actually any changing on the character. Balancing adjustments. The following adjustments will be applied in the data update. We will lower the power of the following attacks used by boss enemies in various advanced dragon trials. High Midgar Somer, Calamitous Storm, High Brunhilda, Scorching Blast, High Mercury, Tidal Explosion, High Jupiter, Supreme Surge, High Zordiac, Curse Catastrophe. So the, all those moves will just do less damage now, which should make it easier to survive, I believe. I believe that's the name of all their opening blasts. If I'm wrong about that, forgive me. Uh, issues fixed. The following issues have been fixed in this version. Under certain conditions, the increased critical rate by 20% buff granted the adventure as a left flash of genius ability, sometimes activated more often than it intended. And that's it for the update. Best Big week. stuff coming in, and that's basically in, I believe, a week. Mm, sounds cool. I can't wait to, t to finally mess around with the skill stuff. Um... In terms of all the other things that they mentioned, that's cool. The idea of like they full on were like they're making changes to <coughs> excuse me, 
I'm making full on changes to the way they combo and stuff. Uh, all overall, I'm kind of like interested to see what's going to happen in this one. Um, only time will tell if this will actually change anything. Maybe all the changes that they're saying for the combo, some of it just is not going to fly or something. I don't know. Hard to know. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of reading, kind of understanding of it. Uh, so if you liked it, leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.